It's September 23rd. Today's reading closes out the Old Testament with passionate calls for repentance for the Jewish people. Powerful prophetic passages detailing the coming Messiah's ultimate restoration of Israel and His judgment upon all the nations of the earth. Joel's prophecies are ominous, even horrific for the wicked, yet triumphant in their bold description of the Messiah's ultimate victory over evil and His rightful rule over the earth. Joel 2, 11 and 12 and 13 encapsulates the message of today's reading. The day of Yahweh is great and very awesome. Who can endure it? Yet even now, says Yahweh, turn to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning. Tear your heart and not your garments and turn to Yahweh your God. For He is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abundant in loving kindness. There is much in Joel that is mysterious. Such is the nature of eschatological passages. But some things are very clear. There is indeed coming a day when the wicked will be judged and evil will be conquered and Jesus will rule the created order. Only God knows when that will be. But in the meantime, His poignant message to all of humanity is, Turn to me while there is still time. This is God's final plea in the Old Testament. It is also the final plea of the New Testament as seen in Revelation 3.20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. This is His core message to planet Earth today. And as followers of Jesus, that should be our message as well. Now here's today's application. As followers of Jesus, we learn to love what He loves, hate what He hates, and be about His priorities. His priority is people. He loves people. He wishes that none should perish. He's pleading with all humanity to turn to Him while there is time. So turn to Him today. Say a deeper yes to His will for your life today. And help others turn to Him. Ask Him to show you how to participate with Him in His efforts to ransom the hearts of your friends, colleagues, and neighbors. Now here's today's prayer.